So, uh, back to the boring old why I'm really missing those fantastic views I had in Glasgow, especially how they looked at night time because I just love the aesthetic of the lights and the, everything in the darkness pretty much. Um, but now that I'm working with fewer editing tools, I can get rid of the boring old why. So, for example, if I do this... There we go, that's much better. So, let's see what's been happening in this month in UK fun fairs. So hello and welcome to the February 2022 installment of this month in UK Fun Fest. We said March, but we are in March and uh, haven't really covered the full of March. We haven't even gone into April yet. So uh, anyway, with that being aside, um, so uh, now that we are actually in March, uh, we are going to see more events uh, starting up. And uh, thankfully, we are not in another lockdown as we are where we were during last March because it was just a terrible time and. Uh, it's good to see the fairs back open in February and it's good to see people coming to them, supporting them. So, uh, as for the news, let's start off and see what's been happening in terms of any new events. A pop-up theme park was announced to be taking place at Avon Valley Adventure Park which is on the outskirts of Bristol. The event which is believed to be the first of its kind to be seen at Avon Valley ran from the 19th to the 27th of February. It was announced that the Team Valley Valentine's Fair had been cancelled for a second year in a row. However, this was not due to COVID. It was actually due to a loss of land where the fair is usually held. The organizers have said that the fair will be back in some form and somewhere in the future. A brand new Valentine's Fair what announced to be taking place for the very first time in Nottingham. The fair run from Friday the 10th to Sunday, the 20th of February. Now moving swiftly along to any new rides that have come to the UK Fun Fair scene. The Roland family have shared new photos of their brand new fair trade waltz and named Groove Rider 2. The ride is a first for the manufacturer due to a new technique of mounting a pay box on the ride trailer and the placement on the ride layout. Another update from the Roland family was that they announced and revealed build progress on their brand new sizzler from PWS. The ride will sport a turbo cap lighting package done by Leisure Elites who recently did Stuck's newer King Sizzler, although with this new build there will be some key differences to this and Stuck's machine. William Abbott and Michael Wallace Jr. have taken delivery of a brand new pirate ship from Goven Luna Park called Viking. The ride has been placed on the Marine Promenade in New Brighton and opened to the public during the February half-term holiday. PM Rides have announced that they are building another two Trooper XL rides alongside a couple of new children's fire truck rides. The ride which is their take on the Super Trooper currently has not been confirmed who the second and third ones are going to. And finally, on to some ride changes that have happened on the UK Fun Fair scene. In a the 20th of January 22 report we announced that the Hard Rock Miami on Blackpool South Pier I've been sold to Anthony Wilkinson. Well at the start of this month we saw photos of the ride being removed from the pair and being collected by the new owner. It is still unconfirmed exactly but will replace the ride on the pier but future details could come soon. Brandon Drake has sold his Starflyer AK Ride Swing Tower to Connor Cowie. The ride made its first outing with Connor at the Link Center car park in Swindon. After 22 years of ownership, Joey Whiteleg has sold his SDC Tagada to Billy Farrell. It is not understood if Joey either has something in mind to replace the Tagada or if he is moving on from the industry but that is to be confirmed. This Tagada recently made its first outing at the Link Center in Swindon. Another right to change hands after 22 years of ownership is the Master Blaster Remit Miami which has been sold by its owner Charles Cole to James Smith. It's understood that this is the replacement attraction for the Skydiver Paratrooper which James sold last month. Further work is being carried out on the waltzer of global events and attractions. The recent work that has been carried out includes brand new windshield, refurbishment on the handrails and has been painted in an undercoat. James Stokes has sold his Goven Luna Park Brucomilla coaster named Family Roller Coaster to Nathan and Reed Holland and Stefan Cubbins. 
We haven't been able to find out any further information on when and where the coaster will make its debut with the new owners or if it already has. A.B. Dante Jr. has teased in a Facebook group that the famous Ezra star shape could be making a return to the UK scene very soon. It is understood that Air has had 75% of the ride rebuilt and that 20% of the seating has had to be sacrificed due to the design and the rebuild. That however is to be confirmed when Air does make a return. The Matthews family have announced via the Fundel World Facebook page that their Crazy Mouse roller coaster is getting a complete makeover and has had parts, motors and compressors serviced and replaced. The coaster is also getting a completely new color scheme which includes a newly coated purple track. It should be ready for the Thunder World event taking place in Bristol in April. Shane Rowland has sold his Sizzle a PWS twist to Charles Porter. The new owner has been looking for grounds for this machine to attend so the first outing of the ride with Charles is to be confirmed. Another ride of Shane Rowland's sold was his Dodgems which went to Kurt Hill. The set which consists of an Adesco track and Revachan cars made its first outing with Kurt at the Barton Airport car park in Eccles of Greater Manchester. Another Adesco Dodgem track to be sold was the one named Jet Set of Peron Kuapland. The track has been sold to Mark Benson and was announced via the M&L Pleasure Fairs page on Facebook. Following his sale of the Thunderdome waltzer to Warren Wallace, Liam Edwards has purchased the 2010 Fairtrade waltzer from David Guy at Junior. The first outing of the ride with Liam is still to be confirmed. And with all that, back to the studio. So that's it for the February 2022 installment of this month in UK Fun Fest. So uh, now that the weather is better, uh, now that we are seeing more fairs than we did way more than last year, uh, please get out there, go and support your showman, do whatever you can to help keep the fairground industry alive because uh, it really means a lot to the families that run them and as well as the... <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I, didn't mean, I, uh, I didn't really think that one through actually, thinking about it. But let's just, attend, uh, uh, let's just end this atrocity. Um, goodbye for now and see you later.